for this video, I'll just sort of be talking over generic pictures of rural areas and internet-related stuff as well. And I'll also be talking over, like, the internet speed in my Steam library. I recorded that for this video. I have to make this video. I shouldn't have to, but I'm making this video because it's a big issue in a very tech-centered world. I know it's not an issue like world hunger or starvation or anything, but it's an issue that sort of annoys me. I shouldn't have to make this video, but I'm getting slightly annoyed with this. And my family is, too, when, when we're here. So throughout the 10 years I've been in this area, we've had four different ISPs, Internet Service Providers, if you're wondering what that stands for. So the very first was dial-up internet, where it took 40 minutes to load like a three-minute video. We had that maybe for a year or two. So that was it was quite, quite a long time ago that that actually was. So the next ISP we had for about eight years, and the speed was all right. We had a 200 gigabyte limit. But it was unstable near the end, and I'll tell you why it was the near the end. In the summer of 2016, that company somehow gave over our IP to someone else, so we had no internet for like a month. So I was sitting here home alone on summer break, having nothing to do. I pretty much watched through all our DVDs and stuff, and I did, yeah, I did some cleaning and stuff, but it's crazy. And it, the weird thing is that, like, Kick Messenger worked, but nothing else worked. It was so odd. Like a few months later, we got a Roger stick for a while, but we would often have to reset it because it, it would always pause and freeze and the speed would get very terrible. And the download speed was about one megabyte per second. Upload was in the kilobytes. So last year we got on, well last year, because 2017. But later on we got on with the ISP that we currently have. Uh, the speed's on screen here, as you can see with the speed test. But five minutes earlier, like it's about four or five, Five minutes earlier, for some reason the speed was 9 megabytes per second for download. Uh, the reason we have this one is because this is the best internet available to us, but the main problem is 100 gigabyte per month limit, which I'm going to talk about right away. This shouldn't be too much of a problem until you actually realize how much internet everything uses. So I have to watch all my videos in 144p to not use up internet. I'll show you here how it looks with Commissar Gams' video. They are actually HD pictures, I believe. But I have to watch them all like this. So it's 30 FPS, 144p videos that I watch. Everything should be fine then, I just have to wa not watch in HD videos is what you're probably thinking. But that's wrong because everything auto-updates. We have an Xbox One and you can't use it since it always has to do a few gigabyte update every time we launch it. The PS4, even the ones that are on discs, they have to do gigabyte updates that you can only temporarily pause. Like my dad got... A Assassin's Creed Origins. He was playing it and wants to do like a 3 or 4 gigabyte update. So he pauses the update, he, re he goes back into the game because the game was just paused, and then the update starts again. It's annoying, because you can't, you can't do it when you have this limit. If you look here also on screen, all my Steam games are paused, and I have to wait until the start of the next month to update them all, when we actually have more internet. Because in the holiday season, when I'm home here, I use up more internet, makes sense. And I just think it's a little bit frustrating in the modern world that we don't have good internet. Like, I know I'm in a rural area, but still, we should have good internet services. They're very important for work and school, and it's become more than uh, essential now. I also have a friend who lives a few minutes out of town. He has worse internet than me. It's in the kilobytes, but his is unlimited. And he could get a fiber optic like the school has, but that's like $20,000, and I don't think he has that type of money, so... That's also very expensive for internet. Like, our internet bill, I, w I don't want to say exactly. You guys would probably think it's expensive. You guys in the cities, in all the urban areas, you guys probably have like 100 megabyte speeds, and that's your slow days. I just think that's a little bit crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to make this rant video, sort of explaining my bad internet. Last year, a cable broke, and the phone and internet... In the whole, in the whole, like, valley, in the whole town here, it was off for 24 hours. No phone, no internet. If you were in a city, that'd be, a, like, a national news story. But, of course, since we're a small town, there was nothing on it. Like, banks couldn't be used, except for one of them, because they, if you had cash, you could use it. But, otherwise, you weren't, no one could go on the internet. There was no phone services or anything. It was crazy. Yeah, I shouldn't have to make this rant video, but I'm just having... I have to to explain to you guys what the internet is sort of like over here. It's a shame because I'm I'm in Canada, it should be good. 
I know I'm pretty much repeating myself over and over, but I just find it insane with the internet that that's the best that we can get, the one with the limit. We're like probably over 80% of the limit and the new month doesn't start for like another two weeks or something. So that means I'll have less time on the internet, but I'm going back to school soon, so hopefully that doesn't matter. Anyways, if you guys are still here and didn't click off the video, I want to thank everyone so much for watching this. And I'll see you all in my next video, which will not be a rant video. This is probably one of the only ones that is actually a rant video. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Goodbye!